Hello, day 23 of the Wildlife Lockdown Diaries and today I'm doing something a little different. I'm talking to you from the sky because I just wanted to give you an understanding of the significance of Pegwell Bay. It's by far my favourite wildlife hotspot in Thanet. It's a complex mosaic of habitats of international importance. It's a special site of scientific interest. It's important for its bird population. These flats here are a restricted area. You're not allowed out there. That river mouth is the River Stour. That's washing lots of rich nutrients into the sea there. Got a great big seal colony there. Lots of wonderful nesting birds there. And you're not allowed out there. So please don't even try it. It's Kent Wildlife Trusts. It's one of their largest nature reserves. And it's the only ancient dune pastures in Kent. These intertidal mudflats and salt marsh and shingle beach and sand dunes, ancient pastures, a chalk cliffs. It's, it's so unique, it's so special. And then we've got this site over here. This is the old hoverport site. Old hoverloid used to operate out of here. And there we get some brilliant wildlife, brilliant butterflies, great wildflowers. Nature's taken over down there and it's just become a nature reserve as i say if you do nothing it's the best thing you can do for nature and that's what's happening down there all these salt marshes as well bring lots of birds you'll see lots of birds down in there feeding and you're not allowed out there either you've got to keep well off the bay i am actually a drone pilot and um, i have a, a very professional drone up here i'm well away from any buildings and, and I'm well away from these horse these horse fields I've um, I'm using a zoom on my camera I'm just gonna pan around there's the sunset we look over towards Herne Bay and we look over towards Birch and Turn and here is Stanacourt and over here we've got where's Margate Margate is there's Margate you can see Stanacourt um, Arlington House there Then here we've got Ramsgate, the old water tower. And then Ramsgate Harbour, and we've made a full circle. Birds are arriving from their migration, and after crossing the channel, it's the first bit of land they're going to hit, so they're desperate to feed up here. And the same on the flip side with the autumn migration, these birds are going to be heading south where it's warmer, and they're going to want to feed up as much as they can before they head south. You can actually kind of make out from up here the smog over the shipping channel. Shipping causes a lot of pollution and regularly drones are used to measure the air pollution over the channel. You can quite often see France as well from here. I'm lucky enough to live near here as well and I love it. It is You are not allowed to fly a drone over a nature reserve, full stop, any nature reserve. You're not allowed to fly a drone over it. You must never ever disturb wildlife with a drone. Not only will you make it waste the wildlife waste energy, not only could it potentially hit your drone and hurt itself, but you could also lose your drone. So don't go near any nature reserves. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that slightly different take on one of my wildlife lockdown diaries. I can't feature in it because I'm currently 400 metres away from my drone. <laughs> I'm 120 metres in the sky. Okay, see you later. And I'll just end with a gentle zoom into the sunset. Thank you very much.